Hey, what's up? This is Richard, owner of San Diego Cell Phone Repair. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to replace the screen on a broken screen of a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra cell phone. As you can see right here, the OLED right here is damaged. You can see the lines going down. All right, let's get into it. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra screen replacement. All right, so here we have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra cell phone. And as you can see, this phone right here has OLED damage right here. That's why you have this like white flickering line that's going down right here. It's probably messing up the touch on this phone. This repair happens to be an insurance uh, repair. So the way that works here at my shop is whenever this person uh, bought their phone, they bought insurance with their phone. And whenever they break it, they pay their deductible. And there's a preferred uh, store a list and they that person gets to choose which repair that they want to have their phone repaired at so when the customer comes in here to this store they actually don't pay anything they just come in to get their phone uh, fixed and then the insurance company that I partner with sends me a check within two weeks so every phone that I get repaired a check comes in the mail all right so First things first, let me show you what the part's gonna look like. You can see right here, this is gonna be the new screen. You're gonna wanna get the screen just like this. It's pretty much, it's like you're replacing the front half of the phone, as you see right here. Get it like this, get it with the frame. It's much easier and quicker to get the screen, Samsung screens, with the frame like this. All right, so let's begin. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take off the back cover of the phone. And also, since this has a stylus a S Pen, take this out first. Put it aside because we're gonna use heat and I don't wanna damage this S Pen by making it all hot. And also while we're, we're at it, uh, let's go ahead and take out the uh, SIM tray right here. So put that aside. I would like to turn off this phone, but look what's gonna happen. Let's see. See, it won't let you turn off the phone unless you put the passcode in, and I never ask for somebody's passcode. There's no reason for me to go into the phone at all because I'm just gonna replace the screen, right? So I, I never ask people for passcodes or anything like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna heat up the back of the phone right here. I'll use this tool as my entry point, and then I'll use poker playing cards and go around the back cover just like this. Why don't I just show you guys? All right, so here we have the back covers coming off. And as you can see that I do use playing cards, the reason why I do that is I don't wanna scratch up this person's cell phone, right? I see like sometimes other YouTubers repair phones and they're not really like, they know how to repair phones, but they're not really like actual retail repair store business owners, right? And then you'll see them use like a blade or something like that. And like us people that really like, we actually have like a repair business, um, you'll see like they're scratching the inside of the, uh, of the back glass. And, but I don't wanna do that, right? And of course they're just fixing their own phone. So they probably don't care either because they're just doing that just to make a video. But see, there it is, there's the adhesive. Uh, when this repair is finished, when I go to put on the back glass, I already have this pre-cut adhesive that I use. Okay, so this is the back cover. As you see, it's not broken. This thing is made out of glass. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take out a bunch of screws. And you can see there's screws all over the place. They're all the same size on this cell phone and there's screws down here. Just take them all out and just put them right here in this dish right here. All 
All right, so now we have all the screws out. What we're gonna wanna do next is we're gonna wanna unplug a couple of connections. As you can see right here, there's two connections right here. We're just gonna unplug this. I have this like kind of black plastic kind of stick thing with a little flat head on the side. I'll see if I can link something like that so you guys can have this at home or if you guys are learning how to repair phones. I'll see if I can link this down below. Uh, we'll unplug it right here and then we'll unplug this. So then that will allow this to come up. And as you see, this is kind of right here at the bottom. I'll get this, I'll grab my little pry tool right here and I'll just go on the side and just kind of pluck this up. There we go. So just to be on the safe side, you guys remember how you guys see this. Do you guys see I go from the side right here and I just barely pluck up. I don't wanna like dig underneath as you see all these little microchips right here. Let me get a, get a close up on this. You don't wanna take this tool and dig in here. Then you end up scratching some of these off and then your phone is like, I'm going to start not getting Wi-Fi or something like that. I mean, worst case scenario, this thing right here is replaceable. If you do damage it or something, something like this probably costs like $10, right? It's just the charging port area. Okay. So what we're going to want to do, here's that part. Just so you guys can see that this is the loudspeaker right here. You guys see makes contact points makes contact with that and that's how that thing works so there's that point or that there, there's that piece we'll put this aside we'll get this out of the way all right so here's the new screen and it's pretty much this is the same game plan on basically almost all Samsung phones as you see here's the front of the phone right and then you flip it over there you go so the whole game plan it's not a secret you just take this stuff out of here and just stick it in here. That's pretty much it. And then, you know, this stuff would go back here just like this. And then, you know, you put the uh, back cover back on. That's pretty much how you fix almost all Samsung phones. They're pretty much, they're all similar. Okay. So what we're going to want to do first is we're going to unplug the battery right here. And I'm going to want to test the screen first. So I'm going to go in. And I'm gonna wanna test the new screen out first. So on this phone, plug like that. We'll take this, plug this cable into the new screen. Yeah, I felt it pop in. We'll get this. We'll plug it into the motherboard. Plug in the battery. All right, and then we'll turn it on. Hit the power button on the side. Probably got to press down right here. There we go. There's the screen. So let's wait till it boots up, and then uh, I'll just touch the screen, make sure it works fine. All right, so you can see that the screen is on. Go right here. So what we're gonna want to do? Screen works fine. Unplug the battery, unplug the screen. We can just leave this plugged in like this. And then we're gonna start transferring stuff over. All right, so we're gonna take out this plastic piece right here in this area. So you're gonna wanna disconnect that. I'll get my little tool again right here. Kind of just pluck this out. There you go. That's easy. These two pieces kind of go together like that right when he goes like on back when it goes back onto the phone put this aside all right so let's uh unplug this cable right here we'll unplug this we'll unplug this 5g antenna right here we can just start unplugging stuff just whatever you start seeing, just unplug, 
Here's another 5G antenna, unplug. Unplug this. This is the uh, front selfie camera, unplug. What we're gonna start first is we're gonna transfer this piece right here, and we're just gonna put it in here. So we're gonna go one by one. Start off with the charging port, take out the motherboard, transfer the 5G antennas. The last thing is gonna be the battery, and then that's gonna be it. So as you see, there is one, two, three screws. Let's take that out. All right, so I'm gonna grab my little plastic tool like this, get under this right here, and then this thing will come out just like this. This is the charging board cable. Also, the SIM card goes right in here. See, charging port. So if your charging port ever goes bad, this thing is replaceable. Generally, these things cost around like 10 bucks. All right, so we're just gonna transfer it from the old screen over to the new screen. You can go like that, flip it around, place the, the board in, right? Place the charging port, place the charging part in first, like this. There we go. Make sure it goes in there. And then take the three screws and then just screw the piece back down. All right, so we got that out of the way. So what we're gonna wanna do is take out this whole motherboard piece. So I'll grab my plastic tool again like this and I'll just find an area where this thing will just kind of wiggle out. Let's go. I'll just go up here. Make sure all the connections are unplugged as you see, because if they aren't, when you take this thing out, you'll start to rip stuff, rip cables, right? But since everything is already unplugged, there's nothing to rip, right? So there you go. This is the actual phone right here. As you can see, just a bunch of chips and sensors. And all of this stuff around it is plugged into here. So this is your actual cell phone right here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do, we're not gonna place this in there right here yet. We're just gonna put it to the side. So we're gonna transfer this over here. So there's two screws, as you can see, one right there and one right there. And then this thing will pop up and grab my tool again. I can get under there and then there we go. Comes out just like this. We're gonna transfer it right back up here. We'll get these like little plastic pieces out of the way. This is nothing. All right, and then we'll pop this right in here. There it is. And then we'll take the two screws and then screw the two screws right back in where they're supposed to go. All right, that is transferred over. So now all we have left is the battery, the front selfie camera, and the two 5G antennas. We're gonna start off with this one on the right side. So the way that I get this out is I blow a little bit of heat on this side because this thing is being, it's, it's in there with some kind of sticky stuff, stickiness. So I'll grab my heat gun. I'll grab my little tool like this. And this thing will come out just like this. So what we'll do is we'll place it right here. There's this little foam thing out of the way. And this will slide right in there. There we go. Fits right in there just like that. This one doesn't have any screws. It just fits in the groove right here. Do you guys see? It just fits in there. This one right here does have screws. So we're gonna take the screws out right here. And we're gonna do the same thing to take this out. Just blow a little bit of heat right here and this thing will kind of just slide out. All right, so I'll grab my tool like this and I'll kind of just 
there it goes. It just slides right out. This has some adhesive on it. As you can see, there's adhesive, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right back here in this slot. And I'm gonna show you something real quick. As you see, this one was screwed in, but sometimes these frames, they don't have screws. As you can see, let me get a close up of these and it doesn't really matter. It's not like that big of a deal. You see, here's the original screen. It has screw right here and a screw hole there. But as you see on the new frame, there is no screw and there is no screw hole. So whatever, just put it in there without the screws. It can go in there just like this. It slides and it fits in anyways. And anyways, it's plugged in. And then this, all this other stuff is screwed in. Okay, so what do we have next? There's only two more things to transfer over. The front selfie camera and the battery. Let's take out the front selfie camera first. And the, how I do that is with a pair of tweezers, just like this. Because there's silicone that they put around. See if I can get a close up of this. There's silicone right here on the sides. So this uh, tweezers is gonna help me break through the silicone. So we'll, we're just gonna start on the sides. All right, so there we go. As you can see, there's silicone on the sides. See right there? Why do they do that? I have no idea. All right, so we're gonna place this right back in here. That's just a little piece, little, probably just a, so dust doesn't get in there. As you can see, there's there. There's that, let's see if there's anything blocking this, okay. So there's nothing there. We're gonna, uh, let's place this motherboard in here now. like this get these cables out of the way go like this there it goes it slides in all the way we can connect these connections back in if you want to we'll just go ahead and do that now one two three do you see this right here this is for the uh, stylus pen right here but the new screen already comes with these stuff on there, right? All right, and then we can plug this in while we're here, already at it. There it is. Plugged in. All right, so what's next? What's the final thing to transfer is the battery. So this battery, if you don't have like experience, it's gonna be hard to take out a little bit. But let me show you an easy way. The way that I take this out is I'm gonna use a little bit of heat and then I'm gonna use alcohol. Now, when I say alcohol, I mean this stuff right here. This is alcohol, 91% alcohol. I bought this at Ralph's, right? And then I just poured some of it into this thing right here. And the reason why I use that is because it breaks down the adhesive that's underneath it because it's really glued into the frame. All right, so let's get this battery out. All right, so after you blow some heat and after you start putting alcohol in here, no more use of the heat gun with this, right? Obviously for safety reasons. So as you see, get a little bit more of a close up. I'm pouring alcohol down here So it seeps down the side, and then so we can lift out the battery. Kind of move it around a little bit. And then once again, I'll grab my tool, and we'll just lift up on the side. Whichever side has more space, generally I start from this side, and I'll just lift up just a little bit. I don't want to bend the battery, right? 
So it's lifting a little bit. I'll hold this right here and I'll just get under it. I'll squirt some more alcohol in there so that can get underneath the battery. See, there we go. Grab my little plastic stick. This is coming out and then I'll just grab my hand, look. There it is. As you can see the alcohol right here. The battery is nice and flat. See that? Nice and flat. All right, so there's alcohol in this and there's alcohol on the back side of the battery. So let me uh, dry the alcohol up. I'll just get a rag. All right. <clears throat> so I got my rag cleaning up the alcohol. Now, sometimes there's alcohol, depending on how much you use. Sometimes alcohol gets into the little, uh, into the little hole right there. So what, if you're gonna do that, let me just flatten this out right here. Kind of get some of this off. So if some alcohol gets in there, blow it out with your mouth. You'll see it come out. Watch. Get on this side, blow, blow the alcohol out. All right, here's our old screen. All right, so I'm gonna keep this frame. I may have use for this at a later time. Plus this also has other parts attached to it already. It has the metal frame, which is not scratched up as you guys can see. This frame can be reused. It has the power button right here with the cable. It has the stylus flex. Yeah, and just the frame in general. So I'm gonna put this aside, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna label it, I'm gonna put right here in Sharpie. No, no, what is this? S22 Ultra, and it's just gonna go in a box. All right, so what we gotta do now is we're gonna tape this back into here. All right, so I got my uh, red sticky strong tape right here. It's double-sided. And we'll just cut some strips. All right, we got our battery. We'll lay it right in here. We'll just plug this in. We can plug this one in, the 5G antenna, as you can see. There it is. We can just go ahead and plug in the battery right now. All right, everything else is on, is plugged in. We did it before. All right, so now we get these two cables right here. And we can go ahead and plug in these two cables. Kind of like that. We'll get our last cable, plug this in. And you see the little arrows pointing up? There's the little arrow, see how it's the arrow up? So that's the way you know the direction that it is right here. And then we'll plug this down here, as you can see. See their plug-in, popping connection. There it is, I felt it click. I heard it click too. We'll go around, just double check everything. I'll make sure all the connections are in. All right, so everything's in. We can go ahead and just start plugging, putting these pieces back. We'll start with this one first. Put this right here. Goes right there. We'll plug in this connection right here. And then we can go right here, plug this in.
there's this. These two connections right here, it'll flap just like that. This goes in first, remember, and then this lays on top. We'll plug this in, plug this in, and then we'll put all our screws back in. Remember, we grabbed them earlier. They're all here in the dish. There we go. All we have to do is put on this back glass. I'll show you the adhesive that I use. All right, here's the adhesive that I use. Galaxy S22 Ultra back cover tape. So as you see, it's already pre-cut for this phone. It actually goes this way. It goes like this. So you see the cutouts for the corner. But I still use this and also I use additional adhesive because I believe this is not enough. So let's go ahead and place that on there. There it is. There's a reception, Metro by T-Mobile, 5G right there. Let's turn this off. All right, and that is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra screen replacement. This repair, I'm gonna make about $100 in profit. If any of you guys are interested in repairing cell phones, buying, repairing, and then selling them on OfferUp or having your own cell phone repair business, I do have a cell phone repair course. Link in the description underneath this video. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.